first of all, help us understand what makes, from your perspective, what makes Bill 21 unconstitutional? Well, I wouldn't be able to provide a legal opinion on that. Um, you know, I'm not a trained lawyer. Um, I'm an advocate and uh, a writer and a speaker. Um, so I can provide uh, a perspective from, from that perspective, not a legal opinion. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's in our charter of human rights and freedoms. You know, we do have religious freedoms in Canada. And, you know, Quebec, although sometimes it, it likes to pretend otherwise, is part of Canada. And so uh, not only that, in Quebec, we also have our own charter. So it's, um, it's a, a charter which is very similar to the Charter of Human Rights and Freedoms. And uh, religious liberties are also enshrined in the Quebec Charter, so the provincial charter. Um, so this is kind of an inconvenient fact that a lot of politicians in Quebec like to gloss over. Um, you know, they really do like to frame the debate like it's uh, some religious minority asking for, for things, mm. special treatment, for example. Um, so I think it's important that we always refer back to the laws of the land. You know, this is something that is part of Quebec um, legal tradition. It's part of Canadian legal tradition. Um, it's not a special privilege that uh, Muslims are asking for. Uh, we're really just asking to be treated like everyone else. And I think it's very important that we stand on that ground. I do think it is a slippery slope if we do allow this. Um, it's not going to be good, not only for Muslim minorities or other religious minorities, but for society as a whole. Like I remember, uh, you know, studying and, and going to school and, and, you know, primary school, high school and learning in school about time periods where, for example, black people or Jewish people were not allowed to be uh, to study at certain institutions or universities. And now I'm talking about like McGill mm -hmm. University, very famous universities in Canada. And so, you know, I always learned that in textbooks as, you know, part of our, our dark past, our, our bad history. And so I never really thought I would see a day where we would literally have the same sort of law where mm. people are restricted from entering certain professions on just on the basis of their um, religious confession. Um, so I think it's a very bad precedent. I think it's something that we need to... Um, understand fully uh, of what's happening in terms of, you know, the, the idea that we're, we're treating uh, a class of citizens as uh, less than. Uh, and I think that's, uh, that's a very sad, sad uh, situation for us in Canada. Absolutely. And definitely a very dangerous precedent for the rest of Canada, unfortunately. So we definitely have to do our part to uh, fight it uh, with all the legal and civil means.